today is do a little maintenance on this motor we took out of the abandon, we'll call it, Triumph GT6 out by the creek. When last you saw it, it was sitting there and it actually turned. I've gone ahead, I've cleaned it up a little bit, I've taken the housing off, and by the way, it was interesting to see all the, literally a cup full of debris fell out of this motor. It had been sitting out by the creek, the creek had flooded, debris had washed inside the motor. Just because the motor's been wet doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's ruined. You just got to take a little care of it. So if you notice, the commentator down here is kind of charred, and, and not really charred and pitted, but it, it, it feels fairly smooth, but it's darkened. And I want to clean that up some, do a little maintenance on it. Now, what you want to do, first of all, is check the brushes. Make sure the brushes are, are free and moving easy. Brushes are always pretty easy to get to. Usually spring loaded. A very easy spring load. You just pull it out, pull the spring back, and there's your brush. You make sure it's smooth, it's not broken, it's not cracked. And that's just as smooth and pretty as can be. So, and I've checked the other brushes, they're fine too. We work it back in there and we gently lower the spring. That spring keeps it secure on the commutator. Now, here's a little brand of cleaner, contact cleaner and so forth we can use. Let's see how this does. You're supposed to just kind of turn it and spray it. Alrighty. You know what? That ain't doing anything, is it, Xander? Uh no. Let's just trash that. Better idea. I've been told, we'll find out how well it works, you take a toothbrush. One of the ones with the combination locks. Okay, childproof no less. Should we get the reciprocating saw? <laughs> we may have to. I've never seen one that's childproof before. Alrighty, here we go. Is the toothpaste hard to get into? No. Good. Toothpaste. And I have been told that if you simply take the toothpaste, toothbrush, it'll clean these things right up. Let's see how they do. Well, there is some blackness coming off in there. Indeed. Which is more than what we had with the spray-on gunk cleaner. Now, Xander, you may wonder what we do to get this toothpaste off. Hey, John, what do we do to get the toothpaste off? I'm so glad you asked that. It's a really a simple process. When we're done cleaning this thing thoroughly, all we have to do is take water and just pour it all over and clean it with water. We're just going to scrub it and clean it with water. And that's it. Okay, John, you just poured water onto an electric engine. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's cleaning up nicely now. That's right, water on an electric engine, electric motor. And it doesn't hurt it as long as we wait till it's dry to run it again. I was about to say, what's the caveat, John? <laughs> the caveat is... You don't want to run it while it's wet. Not a good sign. Not a good thing to do. A little bit of water. The bearings are all sealed in this thing. And that is actually cleaning that right up. Relatively speaking, anyway. It's a little cleaner. Better than it was. True? Now, how clean do you actually have to get this, John? I mean, what are you looking for? Ideally, this thing would be copper colored just like a shiny new penny just like the edges are this is a carbon buildup on the brushes and it can lower the efficiency so basically you're just talking about time and some elbow grease. a little time and elbow grease that's about it just go through here and keep cleaning and scrubbing it till we get them to where they're looking a little better john should they be using a soft bristle a medium bristle you know, I, I, I think a good medium bristle that's what this is any particular brand your favorite, no, I, like toothbrush you know, or toothpaste I, even? Uh, you know, a, a soft grit, you know, <laughs> type would be good. Medium grit, I guess. And keep in mind, folks, with this particular technique, not only will you be keeping green theory going across uh, the world, <laughs> you'll also be conserving fuel and making the world minty fresh at the same time. That's it. 
Your electric car will have minty fresh breath. Those little O's, <laughs> O2s elements will just smell so good. And a little elbow grease is what it's going to take. But it's definitely clean, coming cleaner. Look at that. I think you can see the difference already. Indeed. Indeed. So, a little elbow grease. Maintenance. It's the beauty of an electric motor. You got like four brushes on this thing. A couple of screws holding the brushes in. Some springs. And that's it. Some bearings. Just a very few number of moving parts. You got hundreds of moving parts to wear out in a car. Anybody can take these brushes out, take these springs loose, take these brushes out, and put new brushes in. It's a piece of cake. You can do your own maintenance. 20 minutes. You can, do the, you can change the brushes on this thing. All right, we've uh, spent about 15, 20 minutes brushing this thing off. Washed it off now, or washing it off now, and look at the difference it's made already. Look at that. It was black as could be, black as coal, and now it's just almost shiny as a new penny. Ooh, Is that not amazing? Pretty. Minty Fresh suggests the uh, whitening brand toothpaste actually works best, I think. And that's all there is to it. Motor Maintenance 101. We'll help the drying along just a little bit by blowing off some of the tissue off the water. There you have it. 